The Annandale man who's been named a person of interest in the Jacob Wetterling disappearance will be in court today. Danny Heinrich has been charged with possessing and receiving child pornography. He faces 25 counts in federal court. Our Ashley Roberts joins us live from federal courthouse this morning. Ashley. Jason, authorities arrested Danny Heinrich last October on child pornography charges. As the case moves forward, more questions than answers remain in the disappearance of Jacob Wetterling. At the time of Danny Heinrich's arrest in October, we learned that he was first interviewed by authorities just weeks after Jacob's 1989 abduction. We also uncovered Heinrich was also a suspect in a series of unsolved attacks on young boys in the city of Painesville in the mid 1980s. New DNA testing showed that Heinrich's DNA was a match to the kidnapping and sexual assault of another young boy in 1989. That boy, Jared Shirel, is now in his 30s. Jared has worked for years to find evidence and answers in the Painesville cases, his own case and in Jacob's case. Despite the DNA match, Heinrich cannot be prosecuted in Jared's case because the statute of limitations has expired. Here's what Jared had to say when he appeared as a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. I feel like procrastination on, on law enforcement's side may, may have constituted uh, injustice on my side. So um, although, although I can't prosecute Danny Heinrichs, um, I feel that there's a lot of other victims that haven't uh, received answers as well. Danny Heinrich continues to deny any involvement in Jared's and Jacob's cases. When he appears in federal court later this morning, he is expected to plead not guilty to those child pornography charges. We will be in court today. Thank you, Ashley.